from the garden. It's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So I am out here this afternoon getting all of my tulip bulbs planted. Um, I am not even sure how many tulips I have to go in the ground, but thousands. And so it's the perfect day to do that. Uh, so this video, I just want to share this with you. Now, I know in the past I've done really detailed tulip planting videos. I will link those down in the description and also at the end of this video. Um, today, I'm just going to briefly show you my process for how I plant tulips for cut flowers. And then I also want to go over all of the varieties that I am planting this year. When I opened up my boxes today to go through these to get planted, it's like I couldn't even remember what I ordered. And so I have so many different varieties. Um, so I do want to share that with you in this video as well. Now this year I'm planting my tulips in a different spot. The last couple years I have planted them inside the fenced in garden and technically you want to rotate your tulips every seven years so that you do not get disease on them. Uh, tulip fire is really common. I have never had it, thank goodness, but I definitely wanted to plant them in a very different spot this year. So we're out here next to the hoop house and the trench that I have is about uh, five to six feet wide and probably uh, 25 or 30 feet long. I think it's going to be plenty of room for all of my tulips and this will be a really good project to get done. So anyway, let me just zoom in here and show you how I plant these. So when you plant tulips for cut flowers, you plant them really close like eggs in a carton. They can touch, I think that's okay, and you always want to plant them with the pointy end up and the roots down. And this may look like a lot, but honestly when you're planting these, it really does go pretty fast. So I saw a video the other day that Nicole from Flower Hill Farm had posted where she um, had a big trench dug by her tractor and then literally just poured the bulbs in and spread them all out and covered them up. And oh my gosh, if that works, uh, I think I might be doing it that way next year. But this year I was just way too nervous without testing it out. So I'm going through and planting them as I do every year, pointy end up, roots down, just like eggs in a carton. Um, but if she has good luck, I may definitely try that next year. So my process is I kind of put 200 bulbs out at a time and I'm actually planning out where I put these this year. I started at the end and with all the double lates, which I am still on, then I'll move into the singles and then I will move into the early tulips. And then once I get them in here, I kind of spread them around a little bit and then basically put them as close together as I can, point side up, and then we'll cover them up with the dirt. Now, if there's any that are bad or rotten looking, I'm just throwing them off to the side. I'm not even going to worry about planting those. There's always some that don't look good. I've never had a whole batch of bulbs come really bad looking, thank goodness. But there's always a few. These actually have quite a few bad ones, which I am surprised. This variety is Renown Unique, which is absolutely beautiful. In years past, I have put fertilizer down before my bulbs, and I did not this year only because I forgot to order some. I usually use the Espoma Bulb Tone, and so this year it'll be interesting to see if there's a difference or not um, without using it. But I just completely forgot to order it this year. However, I am sure that they will grow just fine. Oh, Gladiola Corm. All right, 200 bulbs planted, probably two minutes. On to the next ones. I'm also putting in the notes on my phone as I plant these, what varieties are planted where, from north to south and then west to east. Because what I'm doing is I'm planting 100 at a time, um, so 200 at a time, but like 100 and 100. And so I'm putting the two varieties together on my list west to east so I know exactly which ones they are. And then that way they come when they come up in the spring, I will have a whole list of every single variety. And my plan is for next year to really narrow down my variety probably by half and then just order more of less varieties because that actually will be a little better um, cost-wise too. 
All right, you guys, all of my tulips are in the ground. I need to go through my list and calculate exactly how many are in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and cover these. I have about a five by five foot area left. I'm gonna leave it open because I'm running a bulb sale this Friday um, for local pickup and for shipping off of my website. And so I wanna see how many I sell for that. If I have a little left over, then I'll already have an area opened up to put those in, but I am thrilled that I got this done. So time to cover them up. All of the tulips for today are in the ground. I am exhausted. Tulips are one of my favorite flowers to sell and grow, but planting is my least favorite. Um, I am so glad that is in, that is in the ground. And again, I have about that five by five foot space left open because I'm gonna be doing that bulb sale. And then um, I wanna see what I have left and whatever I have left, I'm just gonna throw in that area and cover up. So anyway, I wanna go through that notes on the phone with you guys. And I just wanna share with you all of the varieties that I planted today. I will also put pictures right here up on the screen so you can see what they all look like. Uh, I'm going to start from the north, which will be all of my late varieties, and then you'll see it goes into single varieties and parrots, and then the ones at the end are early varieties. The very last one that I planted, I'm not sure what that is, um, which I'll say that when I get to it. But anyway, uh, so I planted, let me add this up for you. I planted 3,700 tulips today in the ground. Those will all be for spring harvest, usually around Mother's Day. Um, I am getting some 5C bulbs to hopefully force this winter, and then I do have some saved that I'm gonna try and force for Easter. We'll see how that works. I, um, I took the tulip workshop last winter to learn how to do this. Uh, so unfortunately, um, all of their information is their information, so I'm not gonna be doing videos for you guys, but I will be sharing pictures of what I do on Instagram. Um, I am not going to share their information. I can't share their information, their instructions for growing, but I just wanted to tell you, I am gonna be trying that, so I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, but anyway, here's the varieties I planted in the ground. 100 of Charming Beauty. Uh, actually, all these are 100. I will tell you if it's more than 100. So Charming Beauty, Yellow Pompanette, Dream Touch, which I have tried to order the last couple years and have not gotten it, so I'm excited about that. Akibono, Icoon, Drumline, another one I've been trying to get and finally got it this year. Angelique, Menton, Freeman, Queen of the Night, always a favorite and a top seller. Blue Diamond, Brisbane. Then 200 of Renown Unique. Then back to 100 of Alibi and Flaming Flag. Then 200 Apricot Impression. You'll see I'm getting into the singles now. Uh, 100 of Salmon Van Eyck and 100 Sugar Crystal, and then 100 Amazing Parrot, Parrot King, Parrot Negrita, Super Parrot, which was one of my best bloomers last year, Avignon Parrot, Negrita Double, White Prince, Mondial, so a couple whites, a single, and a double, uh, 100 Mary Jo, 100 Foxy Foxtrot, then 100 Red Foxtrot, and then 100 Crunchy Cummins or Cummins. I think they're the same thing. If they are, last year I planted Cummins and that also was one of the most prop popular ones. 200 Orange Princess, my favorite tulip of all last year. And then at the very end, I planted 300 Secret Perfume and I dumped these in. I did the Flower Hill Farm method. And so those I will know if that works or not. Honestly, by that time I was over it and just dumping those in and spreading them around felt real good. 
So there's my 3,700 tulips. Some of you are probably thinking, why so many varieties? Well, I'm going into my fourth year growing cut flowers and uh, my third year growing tulips. And I really am trying to hone in on the varieties that I really know grow good for me and sell good for me. So this year is the second year that I am trying all different varieties. Next year, I hope to cut the varieties in half and then order um, twice as many tulips of half as many varieties and uh which i think i said that outside um, but by that way i will also save money but i really want to try and um, you know find out what varieties work well for me because there's some varieties that are single so like drumline and columbus kind of similar i'm not growing columbus this year because i thought the stems were just a little short last year so i wanted to try drumline Columbus, however, was a really, really good bloomer, but this year I just chose to try drumline. So anyway, when all of these grow, I will make sure to show you guys them and give you my opinion and let you know how they grow for me. Uh, but I am really, really glad to get that all in the ground. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Again, I will probably be planting more tulips. Um, I have about 200 daffodils to go on the ground, which doesn't seem like very many compared to what I just did. I have to get those in the ground. I have some peonies to plant, and we just had a new garden bed area scraped. I'm waiting for the topsoil to come in, so we'll be getting that formed this year as well. Gosh, then we're gonna start on the building renovation, so we're coming to the end of the season. But anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed seeing the tulips I'm growing this year. Stay tuned for a lot more yet this fall. We'll see you soon.